today we're going to check out the Blue Cruise. And since Nick has been driving this truck for 2,500 miles, I've driven it for about 25 miles. Um, and I've never had any kind of self-driving. My Forerunner doesn't have lane assist or lane keep or even the little, um, the little blind stop spot monitors. So we thought it might be fun to record. I sincerely doubt it, but it might be fun to record me um, using the Blue Cruise for the first time. So here goes nothing. I need to put on my seatbelt before you start driving. <laughs> That's not nice. Wow. What? Wow, well, that's 79. All right, there's your set. So it's set? Yep. Okay, Blue Cruise on watch. Blue Cruise on watch the road. <laughs> Prepare to zoom. So is it, do I let go? Right now you can't. Right oh. now, see the left, it says keep your hands on the wheel. Oh, okay. Now you can let go, now it I says hands go? free. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's a big turn coming, which is even more fun. <laughs> Did it tell you to put your hands back on? Yeah, it lost it when the... I'm probably in the wrong lane. I should uh, probably be in the middle lane. So, so it says sometimes it'll... Free. Sometimes it'll keep it, um, even if that lane goes away for a moment. It, I think a lot of... It just means that it lost that and it lost the other side. No. So you need to have your hands on the wheel right now because these people are yeah. not paying attention to what they're doing. It's an incredibly windy day here. Um, trying to find something that would show you how windy it was, but. It's like hugging this side. No, it's not. It's not? You think it is, it's not. <laughs> so the awkward part is, I don't know what to do with my hands because I'm scared it's gonna lose it again. So you have, a like even when it goes to the hands on the wheel, mm -hmm. It's still, it's still steering. Mm -hmm. um, so even if it tells you, put your hands on the wheel, you've got a moment. Um, so that's what you're doing right now, which is kind of your hands on your lap. That's about what I do. Um, Are you as tense as I am though? <laughs> I, think, I think the first time, probably. <laughs> after you get a little used to it. After you get a little used to it, it's easier. Because you start to trust that it's going to do the thing it's supposed to yeah. do. And then... So you can kind of see in the bottom mirror here how close to the right lane or line it is. It's not terribly close. You probably have a foot and a half on that side. And I'm guessing a foot and a half on the other side as well. But the more fun is to see <laughs> this reaction. <laughs> I have to like read the message because I don't know what any of the messages are. If there's a message, put your hands on the wheel. <laughs> the first thing you do is resume control and then read the message. I'm just changing it over to that screen. Oh, okay. So the Blue Cruise is only available on certain highways that are pre-mapped. Um, it uses the forward sensor. So what, what's your speed right now? 75. 75? Yeah, I so, set it at the speed limit. Yep, so what is your actual speed? So your actual speed is 75 as well, yeah. but we're coming up on a vehicle in front of us and in a moment, because it's set to three car lengths, it's actually probably gonna start slowing down. Yeah, 74, it, 73. So it started slowing down now. So it uses that forward sensor to keep you away from the car in front of you. And then it uses this, the cameras on either side of the mirrors to keep you centered on the in the lane. So if I turn my blinker on, I have to take over to get into the next lane? Correct. Okay. So if you turn well, on a blinker, it holds your, it keeps your distance, hmm. 
um, but you have to take control until it tells you hands-free again. And then the other part about this is, like Ford doesn't tell you it's a self-driving car. It's, a, it's an advanced driver assistance feature uh, that allows you to remove your hands from the wheel. You're still responsible for driving, changing lanes, everything. Uh, it's basically <laughs> like a really souped up cruise control. Um, so like Chevy calls this Super Cruise. Um, I believe is what they call it. Uh, Tesla, like the car will change lanes and stuff for you. I should talk about what just happened. So it turned off. We had to re retake control of the vehicle. We were going through what used to be the toll. Uh, and my guess is that they still recognize it as a toll and think you're going to have to slow down. And, and so uh, they force you to take control there every time. Does it stress you out more when someone's passing you? Yeah, because it, especially like in a curve, so like it's kind of hit a little bit more on, um, like right now or just a second ago, it was a little more on my driver's side. Um, and then, so when someone's passing and it's maybe off center of the lane a little bit, it kind of freaks me out because I would, that's not where I would be. I would have been on the other side. I would have been hugging the other side of the lane and it was hugging this side of the lane because of the curve, I guess. I guess. So, so I assume um, because we're coming to the I-25 split, it's gonna drop it again? No, it's gonna force you to go straight unless oh. you turn on your signal okay. and go right. So you just take control. So you can do the same thing now on I-25. Emily's not used to having this much power. <laughs> She's hammering that gas pedal. So now you're hands free. Oh, I'm hands free. Yeah. You can be. I'm not telling you you have to. I-25 is a, a bit of a disaster type of road. So we'll go hands free. It's not too traffic heavy today, but um, I'll see what how people are driving. But. So anyone from Denver will probably know we just passed the Ikea County line. So it'll be clear what area we're in and I'm gonna try to push forward here so you can see the traffic. It's not heavy traffic. I mean, it's con like congestion, but it's not super heavy traffic like during the week. But I-25 always has accidents and reckless drivers and that kind of stuff. So it's a little, this is more daunting than 470 was 470 you have a higher speed but this is you've got a lot of variables here in general i'm more concerned about other people's driving than i am about the vehicle having control right that's more what i'm watching for is how are other people functioning yeah that's what that's more what i was talking about is people weaving in and out people like these trucks that have stuff in their truck beds stuff flying out if they're not secured like all of the the variables of driving the center state have you gotten a little used to it i am I, a little yeah i i keep glancing down because i wish there was like a beep or something whenever it went like hey take over because even though I'm watching the road, I'm not necessarily, I can't necessarily see down here. I mean, like I can see it change colors and stuff, but it's more of my peripheral. And so it would be nice if it like beeped at you or made some kind of like little noise to say like, hey, I, <laughs> I've ditched it. You need to take over control now. Mostly we're not going to be able to use it the rest of the drive. So we can turn it on, but there's not much you can do the rest of the drive because you're about to cut off on 225 and then it'll go away there. Oh, um, it doesn't work on 225? No, it'll work on 225, but it's not gonna make the turn onto the highway for oh, you. Oh, gotcha. So that was kind of fun. It was kind of neat to see the first reaction to it. I have the first time that it the car let me do it. Uh, I have a little bit of video, but it's it's like a second long. <clears throat> so it won't, it'll lose it at this It's gonna point. lose it in just a second. Like very soon here, it's gonna say, wait yeah. a second, there it goes. Yeah, it, it's it's super helpful. It's not gonna do everything for you. That was kind of fun. <laughs> oh, terrifying. I don't hear it ding. Yeah, honestly, it didn't ding that last time, and normally it does. 
maybe it gives you a second before it starts dinging at you. 